Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are exploring the National Museum of New Zealand, Te Papa Tongarewa or simply known as Te Papa meaning the treasure box. As you enter the building, you will see this Waharoa or gateway which was especially carved for the New Zealand International Exhibition in 1906 to 1907 in Christchurch. This one-of-a-kind stone can only be found in Maitahi. It is where the legendary Pacific hero Maui is believed to have landed in Aotearoa. Aotearoa is another name for New Zealand. And if you've seen the famous animation film Moana, then you'll know who Maui is. This gallery or exhibit that we are about to enter now features a lot of New Zealand's native birds, including those that are already extinct. The best thing about this museum is that there's an entire heap of interactive activities like this one which Lily is really enjoying and these are the different types of kiwi birds. I've always thought that there's only one type of kiwi bird but obviously I was wrong. Now this weighing scale is extra special, it tells you which New Zealand native bird weighs the same as you. Then there is this leg of a moa bird which is the largest animal in New Zealand but is now extinct due to overhunting. Moas are massive birds. This is a sample of their footprint and they can actually weigh up to 230 kgs. These are the skeletons of moas that's been recovered. Then over here is a narration of how New Zealand was formed and its cities and here is a simulation of an earthquake. Lily was actually so scared in this simulation room. Over here is a timeline of all the earthquakes that happened in New Zealand over time. Then over here is more display of birds. New Zealand has a lot of native birds. In fact, when the Europeans discovered New Zealand, they see that they could hear it before they could even see it because of all the chirping and singing of all the birds that were residing here.
This one guys is the biggest display here in Te Papa Museum, literally and figuratively. This is a colossal squid. Colossal squid is the largest known squid species and this was caught in Antarctica in 2007, weighing 500 kilograms. This is the biggest squid ever caught and is the only complete colossal squid on display in the entire world and you can see it here in the Te Papa Museum. Admission in the museum is free for everyone, but donations are highly encouraged and appreciated. In fact, you can even make your donation electronically with your debit card like this one. Then on to the next level we go. Here you can listen to the extraordinary stories from refugees and get to know the Pacific Island culture. This entire area is like an activity area. There's toys, puzzles, books and even drums so you can practice your rhythm. There is also a great sitting area in this level which gives you a beautiful view of Wellington. Look at that, such a lovely view.
This one guys is a greenstone or a punamu from Arahura River. Greenstones are considered sacred here in New Zealand and even more precious than diamonds actually. Then in here is a petrified wood from Matauri Bay in Northland. The tree where it came from was buried by volcanic eruptions and turned into stone over time. This now actually serves as a reminder of the ancient forest that used to be in the Matauri Bay. Now this one is a basalt stone from the Ohira Bay in Catham Islands which was formed from volcanic lava. Then lastly this is a gabbro rock from Bluff Hill in the South Island. As you can tell, you will also see a wide display of taxidermies here in the Te Papa Museum. The museum is open daily except Christmas Day of course and it is open from 10am to 6pm. Again, admission is free to everyone and I definitely highly recommend visiting this museum when you are in Wellington. I'd say this is better than Auckland Museum which we also visited and we've actually got a video of that. I specifically like that everything in here is so interactive and educational, it's definitely for all ages and I give this one a 5 out of 5 star rating for experience. Thank you everyone for watching and please watch out for our next video which will feature the most extraordinary exhibition here in Te Papa, the Gallipoli. See you then and please don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye now!